meteorologist Mark Molnar with a special edition of Weather Northeastern Winter Storm coverage. Let's take a look at viewers sent in photos and videos. Most of these are winter themed. Joseph Mead from upstate New York, the Whitehall area near Lake George here on South Bay. Take a look at this, a beautiful fishing location, ice fishing location. Winter Wonderland this past weekend. And if you zoom towards the center of the photo here, not only is a winter wonderland, but you have this bald eagle dive bombing here across the water. So very, very nice capture here. Joseph Mead from upstate New York. You don't see too many bald eagles. And when you do, most people don't have a camera on hand. So very perfect timing on this photo, to say the least. So winter is here, and it is here to stay quite a while. Thank you, Joseph Mead, for sending this winter themed photo in. Lucas D. from Linden, Texas, here down in the south, northeast Texas. Take a look at this. Some uh, jets flying across the sky, crystal clear blue skies across the Linden area. And he has some uh, play on some lighting here through the weeds as well as he's zooming in on the weeds. And of course, you got the backdrop of the sunshine shining through here. But the last fo the video here that he has in HD is some nice time lapse of some clouds moving across the sky. Enjoy these, this type of weather and this crystal clear weather because rainfall is moving into Linden. And Lucas, your neighbors to the north in Arkansas and Oklahoma will see frozen precipitation in the form of sleet, freezing rain, and snow out of this. Let's take a look at the next round of wintry weather here from Derek Rentschler from Lebanon County, Pennsylvania. A clipper here uh, this past Wednesday brought snowfall anywhere from two to three inches across the Lebanon County, Pennsylvania area. And he included a nice, beautiful time lapse here of the snow as it continued to pile up during the day, mostly on Wednesday here. So very nice capture here. Uh, hopefully we can get some more snowfall for you here with this weekend winter storm that's progged to move into your area as well, Derek. So I want to thank everybody for their nice uh, photos winter theme photos, HD videos, as well as the time lapses. So very nice. Let's get right into precipitation totals here. Your attention is drawn first here to Texas on eastward. Take a look at this. Moving that precipitation up the east coast, you can see the pattern here. Anywhere from a half to three quarters of an inch up to an inch of liquid equivalent on this northern fringe of the system, which is the part we're going to really watch, especially once it gets up into southeastern New England here, where you see a lot of this could be in the form of frozen precipitation. Let's take a look at the factors coming together for this big, huge ridge out west here. That's going to steer the energy of course during the day on Thursday, developing over Texas. But on Friday, really getting its act together across the Gulf of Mexico, spinning frozen precipitation up into the Appalachians. But it won't be until Saturday this system really becomes a blockbuster winter storm. Uh, of course, the low track, Prague to move up the coast, just off the coast of Virginia, Delmarva, and then off the coast of New Jersey, going east of Long Island, Cape Cod, and this should keep the heaviest snow confined, especially just inland and coastal communities as well. Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, especially eastern Massachusetts and central Massachusetts, on up to possibly southeastern part of New Hampshire. This could be your storm. This is where the target of the highest accumulations could potentially fall. Let's take a look at the impacts that we are expecting out of the storm. Of course, the impacts will stretch up the East Coast, the Appalachians as well. So color coded here is all your impacts from low, medium, and to high. I don't have anybody at this point in the extreme category, but that could change in time here. Let's take a look at the model plots here across the East Coast. Of course, the Euro continues to be further west than the other models, the GFS and the NAM, those American models. But the general consensus is the system will move up the East Coast and will stay mostly off the East Coast. And it won't be much of a coastal hugger, but that will keep a lot of the heaviest precipitation right along or just inland along coastal communities, anywhere from 50 to 75 miles inland to the coastline. So that pretty much nails it down. There's a lot of consistency in the models now. Let's take a look at those potential snowfall amounts here. We're looking, of course, 
up into southeastern New England. First, the snow is going to start falling here in D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, where you could see upwards of six maybe as much as eight inches possible. Most of it falling east of Harrisburg where you'll be on that three, four, maybe five inch mark. Scranton, it's gonna be close, maybe a few inches. Poughkeepsie on the order of up to five to six inches. But it's over here in Connecticut, in parts of central uh, in western parts of Long Island, maybe New York City as well. We start to get into those six, maybe seven, eight inch amounts, and then up to 10 inches or more towards the Hartford, Connecticut, Providence, Rhode Island, just west of Boston. You could end up with close to a foot, especially between Boston and Worcester. This is the lion's share of the snowfall we're expecting. And of course, that will continue up the main coast towards New Brunswick and parts of Nova Scotia as well. So let's take a look at those surface maps heading on into your uh, Friday here. Before we do, here's the impact scale for the Northeast. Most of the impact will be into southeastern New England here, as always, with a system that doesn't hug the coast but goes partially off the coast here for your Friday. Look at this. We have moisture moving up from the south here. We start to get into some snow, maybe sleet and freezing rain mixing in at the start here in places like Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., and Harrisburg. The system will start to move up. And of course, we don't have that strong blocking high to the north, but we have enough cold air in place to keep most of this in the form of snow, maybe mixing with some sleet and freezing rain towards the coast at times, but this mainly will stay mostly snow. And then of course Saturday, we move that system just off the coast here, up east of Long Island and south, south of uh, Nantucket here, and that brings the moisture and the heaviest snowfall into southeastern New England here. And look at this, we pretty much stay high and dry from Binghamton up to Albany and westward towards Pittsburgh. But look at this Sunday, we clear things out as the system moves up into the northeast, just some lingering snow showers and flurries up here in northern New England and New Brunswick. And then of course, for your Monday, we bring a cold front down across uh, the northeast here. And we have this system that tries to go coastal. It remains most of the models keep it an open wave, but we could see some snowfall accumulations again in parts of particularly into New England and maybe some snowfall accumulations back in New York and Pennsylvania, New Jersey here as well, but not tremendous at this time. That's going to do it for this edition of Weather Northeastern. I'm going to have a five-day outlook for my hometown viewers from Binghamton to Scranton, Susquehanna region of upstate New York, Northeast Pennsylvania. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at MediaMark, subscribe to me on YouTube at MediaMark.com, Twitter at WX Northeastern, and Google Plus at MediaMark. Here's that five-day outlook from Binghamton to Scranton. Friday, we're starting off increasing clouds, but Saturday, as you can see, this system is going to be a non-factor across the twin tiers of New York and Pennsylvania. We're looking at maybe some scattered flurries, maybe a stray snow shower coming up from the south, but this is not going to be a widespread snow event. Heading on into your Sunday, clearing out a little bit, mostly clouds, but we'll have some breaks of sunshine. Kind of clear and cool, but then we head on into Monday. We have that chance of snow in the afternoon, maybe up to an inch of accumulation in some areas, especially the higher elevations. Heading on into Tuesday, we start to clear it out once again. So the theme here is lot, may, remaining cold, remaining winter-like, but not any major areas of heavy wintry precipitation. That's going to do it for this edition of Weather Northeastern.